so Steve Winwood uh, started out life as a baby, like most of us do, and uh, that was in Birmingham, England. Um, uh, however, he didn't wait until he was uh, fully grown to be a man before he started his musical career. He joined the Spencer Davis Group in 1962 at the age of 14. He was uh, in several bands for a while. He was a founder member of Traffic in 1967. He was a founder member of the supergroup uh, Blind Faith in 1969. And after a few years of Blind Faith, he got exhausted and so took a few years off and then went solo in 1977. And from then on, uh, it would seem he's been mostly solo and mostly active, chugging away at his career. He's a multi-instrumentalist, um, and uh, m but mostly a keyboard player. Um, and is probably best known for the, the radio-friendly singles Valerie and Higher Love. So this was Steve's second solo album. It's new to me. I hadn't heard it before I uh, listened to it for this review. Um, and I found it interesting to find out that uh, Steve played ev everything on this album. He's done all the instruments um, and the, the, the teching and the uh, producing. Um, and this is something that I always respect is a multi-instrument... Uh, multi <laughs> I get the word out, multi-instrumentalist who uh, does a, a solo job of the whole thing. Um, in terms of what kind of music is it, it's lightish rock. Um, it's very kind of drive-time radio stuff. Uh, it's the sort of thing that will find its way onto compilations uh, for playing in the car or, you know, kind of uh, best album of uh, rock songs ever in the world part five or whatever um there's quite an emphasis on synth um and uh, for 1980 this was probably quite an early adoption of uh, some of the synth sounds that were in use here um and i would say there's as a result it's possibly been quite influential or steve winwood in general possibly has been influential in the use of synth in rock um which obviously found its way through, particularly in the 80s. Um, his voice is quite distinctive. Um, I, I'm not sure I can say exactly how, but I did recognise it from the songs of his that I know. Um, and I, if I heard one of these songs blind, so I didn't know who it was, I might well be saying, mm, that reminds me of, what's that guy? Steve Winwood. Oh, yes, maybe that's him. Um, the songwriting's pretty good. Uh, it's not outstanding. I would say the same for the music. It's pretty good. Um, it's it's all very pleasant. I enjoyed listening to it. It didn't make me jump up and down in uh, excitement, uh, but I would certainly not say no to anybody putting it on uh, for me to listen to it. Um, so yeah, I kind of liked it. <laughs>